Sahih al-Bahari 302 narrated Abdurrahman bin al-Aswad, on the authority of his father, Isha said, Whenever Allah's messenger wanted to fondle any one of us during her periods, menses, he used to order her to put on an azar and start fondling her. Aisha added, None of you could control his sexual desires as the Prophet could. Sahih al-Bahari 303 narrated Maimina, Whenever Allah's messenger wanted to fondle any of his wives during the periods, menses, he used to ask her to wear an azar. Sahih al-Bahari 304 narrated Abu Asayyad al-Qadri, when Salah's messenger went out to the Masala to offer the prayer of the Dal Adha or al fitr prayer. Then he passed by the women and said, O women, give alms, as I have seen that the majority of the dwellers of Hellfire were you, women. They asked, Why is it so, O Allah's messenger? He replied, You curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. A cautious sensible man could be led astray by some of you. The women asked, O Allah's messenger, What is deficient in our intelligence and religion? He said, Is not the evidence of two women equal to the witness of one man? They replied in the affirmative. He said, This is the deficiency in her intelligence. Isn't it true that a woman can neither pray nor fast during her menses? The women replied in the affirmative. He said, this is the deficiency in her religion. Sahih al-Bahari 305 narrated Asia, We set out with the Prophet for high and when we reached Sarif I got my menses. When the Prophet came to me, I was weeping. He asked, Why are you weeping? I said, I wish if I had not performed high this year. He asked, Maybe that you got your menses? I replied, Yes. He then said, this is the thing which Allah has ordained for all the daughters of Adam. So do what all the pilgrims do except that you do not perform the tawaf round the Kaaba till you are clean. Sahih al-Bahari 306 narrated in Asia, Fatima bin Abi Habayish said to Allah's Messenger, O Allah's Messenger, I do not become clean from bleeding. Shall I give up my prayers? Allah's Messenger replied, No, because it is from a blood vessel and not the menses. So when the real menses begins to give up your prayers and when it, the period, has finished wash the blood off your body, take a bath, and offer your prayers. Sahih al-Bahari 307 narrated Asma bint Abi Bakr, a woman asked Allah's messenger, O oh Allah's messenger, What should we do, if the blood of menses falls on our clothes? Allah's messenger, replied, If the blood of menses falls on the garment of any one of you, she must take hold of the blood spot, rub it, and wash it with water and then pray in with it. Sahih al-Bahari 308 narrated Asha, Whenever any one of us got her menses, she, on becoming clean, used to take hold of the blood spot and rub the blood off her garment, and pour water over it and wash that portion thoroughly and sprinkle water over the rest of the garment. After that she would pray in with it. Sahih al-Bahari 309 narrated Asha, Once one of the wives of the Prophet, did I took half along with him and she was getting bleeding in between her periods. She used to see the blood from her private parts and she would perhaps put a dish under her for the blood. The sub-narrator Akrima added, Aisha once saw the liquid of safflower and said, it looks like what so and so used to have. Sahih al-Bahari 310 narrated Aisha, one of the wives of Allah's messenger, Joined him and I took half and she noticed blood and yellowish discharge from her private parts and put a dish under her when she prayed.